I think the biggest shift that we're seeing at the moment is AI. So previously we had retail business, we had hyperscale business in the, in the data center world, and suddenly there's this new category where we're finding thousands of GPUs that need a home, and that's basically AI. It's a slightly different category of business, it's commercially different, it's technically different, um, and it's a big growth area. So we're having to manage now, I would say, three different categories of business where in the past we might have had only managed two. What do, you, what do you think of the latest moves in the UAE in terms of uh, progress, target, UAE and uh, all of this? In practical terms, are we going to, when are we going to see deployment? Um, so when I came to the UAE in 2022, um, the total megawatts in the country was, was only about 132 megawatts. Um, now you come forward to 2025 and we're at you know, 300 to 400. If I look at everything that's under construction and planned and being built, it will easily reach 600 or 700 by 2028. Um, so a gigawatt market by 2030 is probably you know, realistic. So it's just undergoing a, a huge amount of growth, um, which is partly um, good planning and it's also partly probably catching up um, with maybe you know where it where it should be in terms of in terms of total supply and demand. Do you think the UAE is a leading uh, model and quite innovative in terms of you know getting ahead, building the AI infrastructure and getting ahead? Um, I mean the UAE has some unique advantages because we're able to do things a little bit faster. We can get power, we can get land, we can transact. Um, so. You know, I wouldn't say it's perfect, but when we need to, we can be very, very organized, um, which can be a big advantage because in this game, right at the moment, honestly, speed is, is really important. And what about balancing demand and supply? If there's going to be all, these, all this capacity on the market, where is the demand coming from? Well, um, it's not a new question, you know, people have been asking me that question for eight or ten years. Um, Sorry about that. And the answer is always the same, you know, so we'll, um, there will always be uh, issues, you know, there will always be, um, um, I don't want to say gluts, but there will be the occasional um, site which is maybe, you know, a little bit oversupplied, but in general, uh, I think the, the picture is, is quite healthy. There's a lot of young people coming into the industry and they seem to have figured out how to attract them, whereas the rest of the world is really struggling okay. for succession. Okay. Uh, do you have any view about the uh, succession and the young people coming into the market? What is so special about the uh, Dubai case? Yeah, I know that we've got a, a graduate trainee program, which is very innovative, um, and we're bringing in young, young men and, and women. Um, you know, in relatively good numbers, you know, so these are super bright, you know, people who are, you know, will be leaders in the field uh, over time. So this is what you have to do. Uh, uh, you know, you can't just magically solve these talent problems. People need to be able to, flexible to move uh, around or maybe switch careers slightly, you know, into different areas. So uh, would uh, a mini campaign on Let's Talk Tech help? It's a, it's a great idea and I yeah. think you'll have a lot of success with that. Thank you so much, Rustin. Okay.